Hello, this is how to solve centers of a 5x5. Five five. So that's we'll, we'll start with that and later I will have um, I'll have a tutorial on how to do edges. Okay? So for the fir first what you want to do is you want to get a two pair so like uh, the centers always stay in the same place in relation to each other, just like a 3x3. Three three. By the way, you should be able to do a 3x3 three three if you're taking this tutorial. Anyway, so you get two there. Like, this one was down there. So you can just swing it up to it. And now you need a look, quick look around the cube. There's probably two already paired up. Right, like, there's two right there. But if there's not, you can just pair some up. So, let's see. We can pair up that one and that one without disturbing the top layer. So you can just turn this to the side and bring this over to it. So now you have two lined up there. You, br you turn this the top so, you, so that when you bring this up, they will match together like that. See, when it was like this, they wouldn't match beside each other. So, you want to make sure it's the right way. So when you bring it up, it'll match. Make a four square. And then you take an another two and put them there. So if you can pair them up, you should be able to do that by yourself again. And then you just put these ones into place too. So, um, they'll, that'll be six. six two by three block. Um, now there should be three more of that color somewhere around the cube. Three more of white, I guess if I'm doing I guess if you do white. Anyways, you want to match those up in a line of three. So we have this one here, um, this one here, and this one on the bottom here. So we have to turn this. Oh no, never mind. So we can just swing this one around, and it'll meet there. This one, we can't exactly do that. We have to turn it and turn this side. So when you swing this up, it'll go into that spot. But now it disturbed the top layer. So without, so it won't disturb the top layer. You turn it out of that. So when you bring it back down to un to make it back, it it, uh, it won't come back down to the bottom with it, the piece you just put in there. And then you can just put it up there. Oop. You can just put it up there. Um, then you do the opposite side. This one requires a couple extra moves because you don't want to ruin this layer. So what you do is you want two paired up there. I already have them. So if it's down there or whatever, you just put put it up, turn it out of the way, so that when you bring this back down, it won't knock it out of place. Um, here, I'll do it with this one. See, if it was down here, make a two pair, bring it over, bring it down, and the white will stay intact. So. You look around for two two there paired up. There usually is, like there. Um, if there's not, you do the same thing as the first step, just turning these two layers and the sides, um, so that you don't ruin the ruin the bottom. Anyways, so you line it up so this will swing up and make a four pair. Just sit around so there's no black or no no uh, yellows here. It should be on your cube. Um, and then you just bring it back down. That shouldn't bring any blocks back down with it. And then we can look for another two pair. I have one, but you might not. So you just line it up if you don't. So, yep. Yeah. Anyways, we'll bring it up to match it. Move it so that when you bring that those columns back down, they won't, it won't bring any important blocks down. This this block doesn't matter because you have to put these two in with it before you can. Anyway, you're making a three block now again. 
So this block we can just swing over to the black there. To this black uh, center edge, I think it's called. Um, there's one more over here. Um, this one won't line up when you turn it like that. So, what you have to do is you have to flip this so it's on the other side of this. And now you can bring it over and it'll match. Now, when you're bringing this one up, you actually have to bring it into the two solid ones, like lengthwise. So you bring it up into that, flip the top around twice. When you bring it back down, it'll bring this black into place. So, that hasn't disturbed the white. And you have none of these already, so it doesn't really matter. Now, what you do is you look for the easiest side to solve around the edge there. So, let's see. Um, in my case, it's probably blue. So we'll try and get two pairs. It's much easier to find the pieces for, for this step. So there's a two pair there. So we'll take advantage of that. We'll do this. We're doing this just like I did the black side. Bring it up to match four. This is the first one around. So uh, you don't have to worry about mixing up any of the sides around it. Um, I have another two pair here. So we'll take advantage of that again. Bring it up. We'll turn this to the side so we have a row and we can bring it up. Um, now, what we have to do is we have to make that blue row again. So, we have to make the three blue row to go there. Uh, so we have two, two right here. We just have to get the middle one for that block. So, it's over here. Yeah, over here. Uh, so flip this around so that when we bring this around it'll match up so match it'll match like that flip it to the side then you gotta bring this middle thing back because it it actually mix, mixed up this top part now same as the black you wanna bring it in in this this column there you wanna bring it up to there flip it around twice and bring it back down just so you don't just disturb that. Or, or it won't go. Wait, never mind. For the first one, you don't have to do that. Um, so, if you have it just like that, you don't have to put it in on this side. You can just have the empty spot and bring it up. 